Hi guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, we are going to show you how to count the frequency of each element from the array. So I'm going to provide an array and you have to identify the frequency of each element from the array. And apart from this, I'm going to ask one question to audience because I'm getting a compilation error in a code snippet and audience has to identify what is the compilation error and they have to provide me the answer. So let's start the video. Can you take an array and try to find the frequency of each element from that array? Yeah, perfect. So uh, yeah, first I'll take uh, integer ARR will be our array. And I'm going to repeat few elements in that array. And I'm going to find the frequency of each element. For example, 10, 10, then 20, then 30, then again, uh, 20, then five, and then five. So this is the array, which I'm going to use for counting frequency. For example, by this program, we mean uh, 10 uh, happens to be there twice. So uh, the frequency will be two. Similarly, 20 is twice, frequency will be two. 30 is only one time, so frequency will be one. And similarly, five is twice, so frequency will be two. Let's try to do this uh, by writing a method. So I'm going to write a public method. Uh, it is going to be static. And it is not going to return anything. It is just going to print the frequency. So it's void. And then I'm going to name the method as count frequency. And this will accept our array because we want to uh, print the frequency of an array. So this will be accepting integer ARR array. All right. So signature is uh, clear. Now let's try to iterate over the array and uh, try to find the frequency. Before that, to store the element and frequency, we need a map. So map is a key value pair. So in map, you can have a key and you can have a value. So you can add a value against one specific key. So here both key and value are of uh, integer type because uh, the actual element is integer and the count is integer. So I'm going to make map of integer integer and I'm going to call it as uh, map and the implementation will be new hash map. So map is an interface, hash map is uh, an implementation of your map. So it's a hash map integer e is missing integer. All right, so we uh, declared and uh, initialized a map uh, Let's try to iterate over the array and try to store um, the element itself, which is uh, the element of an array and the count against that element. So I am going to use for loop for performing this operation for integer i equal to uh, zero or uh, array starts from zero with element, zero with uh, index. i is less than arr dot length. We have to iterate till uh, i is less than length. And then we are going to do I plus plus. We have to go to the next element of the array. So that is my standard for loop that we use. The first thing we have to do is check in the map if the element is already present. If the element is already present, then we need to increase the count of element. If the element is not present in the map, in that case, we are going to add the element to the map. So how to do that? Uh, if map dot contains key, contains key uh, is a method which checks if the key is present in the map. And we are going to uh, do ARR of i, which is our current element uh, while iterating through the array. If the key is already present in the map, uh, that means I have to increase the count of uh, that uh, element. So let's try to increase the count of that element. I'm going to put uh, the same element ARR of i, and I'm going to get the count of it using get method. So to get the count, I'm going to use map dot get ARR of I. So I'm going to get the existing count of that uh, element and I'm going to increment the count by one. So this is what I'm going to do if the element is already present in the map. Else, else the element is not present in the map. So it's the first time we are adding some element to the map. So I'm going to add map dot put key and value. So key is definitely array of i, which is our current element while iterating. And the value is going to be one because we are going to add this element for the first time. So whenever the element is added for the first time, the frequency is definitely one because it occurred only once. So uh, that's about the uh, logic. After this, we after uh, iterating through the array, we are just going to print the elements of the map. So to print the element of the map, uh, we use something called as entry. So it is map dot entry. So let me get uh, map dot entry. And the entry is going to be integer integer. It is same data type as your uh, map. So it is going to be integer and integer. When you get entry from the map, 
it is actually combination of key and value. So entry is both key and value is known as entry. So let's try to take entry and how to get uh, all the entries from the map. There's a specific method for that map dot entry set. So entry set gives you all the entries that are present in your map. After this, I am just going to sys out and I'm going to print the key and the value. So the key will be your array element and the value will be your count. So let's try to get and print entry dot get key. This will be your uh, array element. And after that, I'm going to print the value. So this will be your count entry dot get value. As I said, entry is a combination of key and value. All right, so our logic is uh, complete now. Let's try to call this logic from our main method. To call, to call I'm going to just call the method uh, count frequency and pass the array, which we just uh, declared, ARR. So this method is expected to print frequency of each element. So let's try to run this program and see what happens. As you can see, uh, it printed, so 20 is, 20 happens to be two times, uh, 10 happens to be two times, five happens to be two times, and 30 happens to be once. So it printed all the frequency uh, correctly from the array. Yeah, so that's how we print it. Yeah, perfect. It is giving me as expected output. So I have provided you course method in the chat box. Can you show it to the audience? <laughs> yeah, it's in the chat box. <laughs> Yeah, um, okay. Guys, so right. I have a class. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, in this class, uh, I'm getting some compilation error, and you have to identify what is the compilation error and let me know in the comment section so that I'll be able to compile this code. That's it from this video, guys. Thank you. Bye bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye bye.